uh, Pi Cute 5 and uh, QT Designer to make a, uh, a GUI with Python, basically. So I had an idea just to make a program to add two numbers together, push a button and they add together and display a result as an idea to kind of, you know, show you how to quickly get started with this. So let's, let's go. First we have to create a main window and designer. Okay, and now let's let's uh, put a line edit or a couple of them over here. And these are going to hold our numbers that we're going to add together. And now a couple of labels. So number one, we're going to call that number two. And then we're going to put a label down here for our result. And now we need a push button to push to calculate the, the two numbers. So there's our push button. So we're just going to call that add, the, the double clicked in it and write the word add there. <clears throat> and we're going to double click that, right? Let's just say N1 for number one and uh, N2 for number two. And drag those a little bit closer. Make them smaller and drag them closer. Okay. Okay, so we want to delete the text in this one. So now that we uh, now that we have everything kind of the way we want it, we need to name these. So this is come over here to object name, and I like to leave whatever they are in there and just put the variable afterwards. It, it'll make sense if you if you do a big program. So that's number one and number two. And the, what we're doing here is we're creating a variable to, that's going to hold whatever we type in here. And then down here, it's going to be label answer. Now let's just make that a small A. And the push button, I mean, we could just leave it push button since it's the only one there, but I'm going to call it add. All right. Now let's save this. File, save as. We're going to call this tutorial UI. Dot UI. So it created a UI file called tutorial. But wait, did we save that where it needs to go? Yeah, we did in our tutorials folder. So that's that's where we wanted to save it. Okay. So now let's move over our Visual Studio um, <clears throat> code editor. And this is what I use to make my Python files with. And here's a starter script that I always use when I start a PyCute 5 program. <clears throat> it's got everything that it needs to run. Um, so the only thing you want to change on this, and I've already changed this, is you need to, uh, you're going to have a Python program called UITutorial.py, so we need to import that. And then uh, over here in this class, you also need to make sure that it says UITutorial.uiMainWindow. And if you change the name of this, just change this and this, and then you're done. So we don't need, even need this line. Okay, so so now we're ready to. Sh no, we're not. Okay, so this cube cube bat. It's a batch file, and what this is all about is all it does is change the uh, tutorials UI into the UI tutorials.py. So it changes the cute designer program into a Python script. And uh, 
I always use, I always just put a batch file in, in my folder. So when I want to change something on the designer, all I have to do is type the letter Q right there. And it does that for me. Oh, wait, we have an error here. So it says, uh, no such file as tutorials.ui. Oh, I named it tutorial without the S. So let's change that, save it, and try it again. Wait a minute. Oh, we need to change the S here also. Take the S off. Save it and uh, now we run it again and it works. See, we have this uh, UI.py file here that, that got generated. And we'll delete that one since that's got the S on it. So, so that's that's what that is. So we change we change this the 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 tutorial.ui which it was created by designer and that's basically kind of like an XML file and then we uh, changed it to a Python file. So now back to our starter script. If you use Visual Studio Code Editor or something like that, uh, it will now auto complete for us. So let's uh, make a function called add. And because it's in the class, we have to uh, write self and here's an argument. So what we want to do is add that num1 and or num2 together that we created. So we uh, so let's say num1 equals uh, self dot line edit, and and this is why I put the uh, this is why I put the line edit. So we always know what that is. I leave that line edit in and just put the variable next to it. And there is something I want to change because. This should read num2 over here. So we'll save it. And then since we saved it, we have to run our QBAT again. And so, so we'll say num1 equals that. Uh, now num2 equals Self dot line edit num two, but that's just going to give us an object. So we need to do like dot text and that'll convert it into text. So, so now we say, uh, since this is in our add function, we'll say num, we need to change those to, uh, Let's change them to float so it'll allow for decimal. So num1, which is it's, it's text now, so we can't add text together. So we'll say num1 equals float num1 and <coughs> change it to floating decimal. And we'll do the same for num2. Now we can add those together. So we'll say num1 plus num2. All right, we need to put that in a variable. So we'll say answer num1, num2. Okay, now, now we, we have an answer. Now we have to display it back to our, our GUI. So we made a label called answer. So what we'll do is self dot label 
and you have label answer there dot set text okay wait our answer is going to be a float so you can't really set that as text so we need to turn it back to text so I'm just going to type right here string answer so that should throw that back into our our uh, our label here wherever it is I hope we still have a there it is so this is going to be our answer so let's see if it works oh wait no we have to uh, when we push the button we have to call this function so we have to go down in this init class right here this init function and we go self dot push button add dot clicked if it's clicked you want it to connect to that self dot add and then save it so now let's see what happens now we go python tutorial wait we need to save this as tutorial okay so so now we go python tutorial.py see what happens So now here's our here's our program we just created and we type in a two and a three and it should equal five. So 5.0 because it's a floating point uh, answer. So whatever we we can type in ten here, ten and two is twelve. Okay, so that's how you get started with PyCube 5 and Python. And like I said, I will put the starter script up where you can see it at expertcoders.net forward slash links uh, and you'll see this under the video section thank you oh and if you like this uh, please subscribe and hit like thanks